So that's one head-to-head -head, uh, with Dwayne Chambers we won't have, but we've got one here. Jessica Judd, the new kid on the block against Marilyn Okoro. So what do we have in store today? Jess Judd loves to be in front as well, but will she let Marilyn Okoro dictate this? Will the two of them just sit and watch each other? Paula, what do you reckon? It's an intriguing race ahead. It is, definitely, and very different racing styles too. I mean, I think you see um, Jess Judd far more likely to run uh, even splits and even throughout the race. Marilyn is far more likely to attack very hard in the first lap, as we've said, and then pay the price for that later on. Pretty much perfect conditions out there today, so I'm looking forward to, to see what they can do. They did race just last night, so not a lot of recovery since then, although neither ran starting fast last night. And at the moment, Jess Judd is just exciting. I mean, she's just getting better and better with every race that she does. She will go on from here to race in the um, European Ju Junior Title Championships next week in Rieti. So she's still got a lot to go going into Moscow, but she'll be comfortable now attacking this race with that A standard already in the bag. Well, this is interesting because Marilyn has obviously reined in her natural tendency and uh, that's a smart move, I think, from Marilyn, because I think if this becomes a five, six hundred meter race, it didn't go that hard through the first 200. And of course, Jess Judd, you can see, started to then pick it up. And if it was a straight 600 race, you'd probably put your money on Marilyn Okoro. So Marilyn sitting here right on the shoulder of Jess Judd. But there's one thing you can say about Jess Judd. She will scrap every single step here and make this really hard for Okoro, who for the first time tries to go past the youngster, who just accelerates herself. And the two of these are going to go toe to toe here. And Okoro takes the initiative around the top bend that little burst of acceleration that she has that perhaps Jess Judd doesn't yet possess the young 18 year old doesn't quite have that speed in her legs and this has turned into as I said a 600 meter race with with the 400 meter pace that Marilyn Okoro has was always going to end this way so Marilyn streaking away this is a really good performance from Marilyn Okoro Jess Judd looking a little tired in second place and is fading rather quickly here so Marilyn that's a great run just outside two minutes and Jess Judd for once, having to bow perhaps to the the Naus and the, I think, a good tactical race run by Marilyn Okoro there, a really smart move there, didn't want to do anything in the first 200 metres, gambled on Judd not taking it out hard, which she didn't do, and maybe Jess has had you know, a few exciting races, it does take it out of you a lot, and Marilyn has been working nicely, building up nicely towards these championships.